If like me, you're training to become a faster runner, that might be something that you can do to become faster instantly with a little bit of help of some math. Let me explain how in this video. Now when you look at your race, you're trying to get from point A to point B. How can you get there faster? There's one, by speeding up. Two, by making the distance shorter. Let's work the math on making that distance shorter. Now when you look at your race, like a half marathon for instance, most likely you'll be running on a curvy road. You run in the middle of that road to get to the finish, you'll have a very curvy route. Now when you run from bend to bend in a straight line, you'll be running a shorter distance. So what you want to do is look ahead to the next bend and run in a straight line to the inside of that bend. Once you get there, look ahead to the next bend, run in a straight line to the inside of that bend. If you keep doing that your entire race, you will run a shorter distance through your half marathon. Now most of you probably already know this, but still, after every single race that I run, I overhear people at the finish talking about their running app, saying that their app shows that they ran a, a longer distance, that they think they measured the course wrong. Uh, the reason for this is the way they measure a half marathon is they measure the shortest possible distance to the finish. So this means if you're running the outside bend every time you're zigzagging, then you're gonna run a longer distance throughout your race. Now when I look at the marathon in Rome from last year, I ran 43.8 kilometers. Now I was filming, I was zigzagging, I was all over the place trying to get better shots from this side than from that side, trying to film the mile markers, the buildings. So that resulted in me running 1.6 kilometers more than I needed to. That's a mile. So I ran a marathon and I went the extra mile. So what else is keeping us moving from A to B faster? Is gravity. Gravity is pulling us down, which is making us slower. Now, how can we use this gravity? Now a lot of runners hunch over while they run. This, this can be because of bad form, or it can be because um, you get tired during your run and you start leaning over like this. You see a lot of runners running hunched over. Now, when you're hunched over, this might be a little bit exaggerated, but you get what I mean. Uh, when you're hunched over, then uh, gravity has a larger area to pull down than when you're up straight. Gravity pulls down over your center of gravity and you'll have a less of a hard time moving forward. The way you can use gravity is by leaning a little bit into your, to your run, leaning forward a little bit, but with your uh, upper body being straight, uh, kind of as if you're falling forward. Also, this is a little bit exaggerated, but if you're like falling forward, then that's the momentum that you can use in your run to make you move forward, to keep you moving forward, and to make you faster. So try some of these things on your next race and uh, see if it helps you out. Uh, let me know in the comments if you do and what your result was. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Until next time, get out there and run.